today I want to talk about seeing your vision even though you don't have the um, same ideals as some of the ones around you. Um, I'm noticing more and more it becomes difficult for people to realize like it's okay to have different ideas and visions than the ones around you. And I'm saying that because sometimes that requires you to step out on faith. That requires you to stop arguing, stop trying to prove a point. Just do, just push. That's what your brand, your image, your company, your um, beliefs just push and don't look back do not look back when you push because what will happen is most people aren't going to exactly rock with you all the time but the joy is in knowing like hey it needs to be done you know what needs to be done you know the energy that you need to put behind what you believe in and it's not your responsibility to always convince people um, I think we feel like we have to prove a point to people at the beginning stage, but not everyone can see the gift you're given. Not everyone can see the vision you have. So what happens is you spend more time convincing than you do actually going after your goals. And that's a problem. It's really a problem because like, it's not for them. And there's that saying that you'll make a customer a friend before you make a friend a customer or a client or whatever you want to use. And that's very accurate. Um, a lot of people you grow up with, a lot of people see you as just you, whatever name you have, whatever, like where they found you and discovered you and learned who you were. That's the lens they see you through. So often they don't take time to sit back and like, reflect on the fact that you might actually have something going so you have to like you have to look way beyond what they see and that's going to be the only thing that pushes and keeps you thriving so it's up to you to really 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 push really push wake up push you hear little side comments push because at the end of the day no one's going to have your back like you do. No one's going to have your back like you envision it until you start accomplishing things. Meaning, don't ask for help to second guess. Don't let the smart comments stop you. Don't let the fact that your vision is your vision and not their vision stop you. There's so many things that can go right, but people will focus on what can go wrong. And you have to have such a gut feeling that it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do because you know in your heart that that's what's pushing. And so ultimately that's gonna be the, the biggest goal you can have. That's gonna be the biggest thing you can push because it's not for them to recognize. Um, sometimes you'll feel crazy too. You know, that's what I'm kind of noticing. Sometimes you'll feel crazy because it's difficult not having someone to have your back it really is it really is difficult to watch people support and push the same things you do often but not do it when it's you and it's difficult because it's like well why aren't you guys supporting what i have going on why isn't this why is it that honestly they're not supposed to um they don't know any better and it's cool it's not making or breaking anything it may hurt a little bit but it's not making or breaking what your intentions and what your goal and focus is. So the best thing you can do for yourself is just push. Unapologetically push. I use the word unapologetically a lot, but I mean, because I feel in this culture is such a natural thing to get up and apologize for being you for being driven, for being against 
what others expect you to do. And that's in any part of your life. That's you waking up and saying, you know what, I'm going to work out. That's you waking up and saying, you know what, today I'm going to read. That's you waking up and say, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go early. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this phone call. I'm going to shoot out this text. I'm going to go on my social media. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this statement, even though I'm going to get backlash. I'm going to wear this outfit. I'm going to do this. Like... To be unapologetically you, that's to be comfortable in yourself, regardless of what other people have to say. And you have to be that to be confident, to feel good about what you do. If you don't feel at least a little good in what you do, then you're losing. You're losing because that means somebody else can get up, wake up and give you an opinion that's going to stop you from actually being great and then you're gonna back up and you're gonna tap dance and you're gonna beat around the bush and you're gonna be unhappy and then you're gonna like go through a cycle and eventually you're going to get to a point to where you end up doubling back on what you wanted to do initially and then you feel like how much time you wasted oh it's too late and what for when you could have the very first time you had that thought just pushed just pushed through because what's going to happen is if you win, people are going to talk about you. If you lose, people are going to talk about you. If you try, people are going to talk about you. If you don't try, people are going to talk about you. The one thing is people are going to say something about you regardless. So what you can do is just do what you want to do. That's the only thing that's going to cause you to have any level of comfort and success to a point to where it's like you know what i'm satisfied with these results this is what i wanted to do i mean for for me it was this podcast that was i mean not necessarily just this podcast but there was a lot of holding back and doing things and i mean you have people that you talk to on a daily or people whatever and they may not necessarily be that who it's for and that can become kind of like a little, you know, that can become a little discouraging because it's like, well, dang, you know, I want the people who are around me to have access to what I consider a great moment of myself. But, hey, they might not. And that is perfectly OK. And the reason why is because, you know what? God gave you a vision. And for whatever reason, he gave you that vision. You're supposed to take advantage of it. So who is supposed to be for it will be and who is supposed to help it will. And if it happens to be something to where it's like, yo, the people you wanted to bite into it doesn't. That is fine because you're stepping out on that limb. You're taking that risk. The worst thing you can do when you take a risk and do something that no one else told you to do is fail. But even failing, what happens is you might find something out of that failure that worked, right? So maybe, maybe the gym was the item. Maybe you started going to the gym and maybe you suck at going to the gym. Maybe you just cannot get your workouts right, cannot build your fat and your muscle and, and get everything right. Maybe you suck at cardio. But what you notice is now you have a regiment. Maybe you realize, hey, I like to work out in the mornings. Hey, I'm pretty good at weights. Hey, I'm pretty good at doing this. Like you can take away strong points that actually make you a better individual. And and that's in everything you're doing. So maybe this idea you have might be a fail. And then you like, you know what? But one thing I did notice is this. I noticed I'm kind of good with clothing. I noticed I'm kind of good with this. Like you use that as a chance for your growth. And you use that as a way to figure out who you do and don't want involved in your future trust me all friends don't go to that place all friends don't go to the next level as you grow you're going to grow past a lot of them but you have to be able to push and not look back because if every time someone says something you shy away from what you wanted to do guess what you'll never do anything because honestly if you're doing anything risky the majority of people, especially in today's world, are going to be against it. And they're against it because, let's be quite honest, it's not it's not really encouraged. The life of an entrepreneur is, encur entrepreneur is encouraged, but it's encouraged in the sense of like maybe to make a couple cool memes here and there, you know, that's about it. 
not to actually do what it takes to grind and, and make it happen. Um, you're not going to have the full support all the time. You might get some support from people, but you can't go into it with the expectation that you do. So you need every last bit of energy you can have to have your support that you can give yourself. You need every last bit of energy you can push for yourself because all the discouraging naysayers and all that stuff are always going to be there. But you need to build up a level of tolerance to shoot past it. Well, what I will say is this. If you really want it, if you really want it, and I will preach this until my face is blue. If you really want it, you won't even believe in excuses. But you need to find a deeper the deeper reason for why you want it too because it's not always just hey you want it because you know it makes you look good find out what makes you makes your heart beat and makes it makes you tick when everything's not going right because that's going to be the thing that helps you prevail with last minute when it's all when it's hard to do and trust me that's going to be the that's going to be the difference maker well i'm glad y'all tuned in <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all tune in ever since everything's back on schedule to Let's Talk Music when you get a chance. If you're an artist, if you're not, there's still some gems in there, of course, in life on the creative side. But most importantly, y'all enjoy y'all weekend coming up. Um, Whether or not you decide to celebrate the holiday, that's on you. But whenever you catch this, I don't like to date my podcast. So whenever you catch this, um, enjoy it. That's the best way to put it. I'm out. Peace.